नमस्कार शस्त्री अकाल आदाब दोस्तों स्वागत है आपका वर्क मॉप द्वारा शुरू की गई कहानियों की इस खास मुहिम में ये एक ऐसी मुहिम है दोस्तों जो हम सभी को एक दूसरे से जोड़ती है दोस्तों एक दूसरे के अनुभव साझा करने का ये एक ऐसा मंच है जो आपको दे रहा है एक सुनहरा अवसर अपनी जिंदगी की कहानी अपने शब्दों में बयां करने का जी हाँ इस मंच के माध्यम से अब तक कई लोगों ने अपने जीवन के अनुभव अपने विचार हम सभी के साथ साझा किए हैं और अपनी कहानी के माध्यम से सभी को प्रेरित किया है देशवासियों को एक नया संदेश दिया है तो दोस्तों कहानियों की इसी कड़ी को आगे बढ़ाते हुए बढ़ते हैं आज की अगली कहानी की ओर जी हाँ ये कहानी है सिरीशा दुबरी के बारे में जी हाँ दोस्तों आज आप मिलेंगे सिरीशा दुबरी से और जानेंगे इनकी जिंदगी के अनुभवों के बारे में आंध्र प्रदेश के विजयनगर में जन्मी सिरीशा दुबरी ने अपना बचपन यही बिताया दोस्तों अगर बात करें इनके बचपन की तो आपको बता दें बचपन में ये एक मेधावी छात्रा रही हैं बहुत कम उम्र में ही इन्होंने बड़े बड़े सपने संजोने शुरू कर दिए थे जी हाँ ये बचपन में एक पायलट बनना चाहती थी फिर धीरे धीरे समय के साथ इनकी रुचि भी दूसरे क्षेत्रों में विकसित हुई और फिर इन्होंने एंकरिंग करने का मन बनाया जी हाँ इन्होंने लोकल चैनल एंड इवेंट्स में एंकरिंग करनी शुरू की और इसे अपना पैशन बनाया इसी के साथ अपना खुद का व्यवसाय शुरू करने के उद्देश्य से रियल स्टेट फील्ड में कदम रखा और फिर आस्क प्रॉपर्टीज की स्थापना की जिसका वर्तमान में सफलतापूर्वक संचालन कर रही है अब अगर बात करें इनके प्रेरणा स्रोत की तो आपको बता दें जीवन में आगे बढ़ने की प्रेरणा इन्हें अपने पिता से ही मिली है जी हाँ अपने पिता की दी हुई सीख को अपने जीवन में अपनाते हुए उनके दिखाए मार्ग पर चलते हुए ये निरंतर आगे बढ़ रही है वर्तमान में विशाखापट्टनम में आस्क प्रॉपर्टीज की फाउंडर है और अपनी रियल स्टेट कंपनी को सफलता के उच्च मुकाम पर पहुंचाने के लिए ये कड़ी मेहनत कर रही है तो दोस्तों ये कुछ खास बातें थी इनकी जिंदगी के बारे में जो हमने अभी आपके साथ साझा की अब वक्त हो चला है इनसे मुलाकात करने का तो आइए दोस्तों मिलते हैं हमारी आज की खास मेहमान श्री शाह दोवरी से और जानते हैं इनकी जिंदगी की कहानी सिर्फ और सिर्फ इनकी अपनी जुबानी हेलो ऑल आई एम सिरीशा दोवरी एंड आई एम द फाउंडर एंड मैनेजिंग पार्टनर ऑफ आस्क प्रॉपर्टीज आस्क प्रॉपर्टीज इज अ फार्म दैट इज बेस्ड इन विशाखापट्टनम एंड आई एम ऑल्सो फ्रॉम बेसिकली फ्रॉम विशाखापट्टनम I born and brought up in Vijayanagaram. It is very near to the Vishakhapatnam. Uh, coming to my family, I have a four and a half years kid. His name is Ahil Karthikeyan, and my husband name is P. Sri Ramamurthy. He is a PhD doctorate, and he is working as a principal for Kids College of Pharmacy. As I told you that I am the founder and managing partner of this Ask Properties. Before coming into it. there are lot many hurdles and everything from my childhood so it's not an easy path i can say i would like to share you like my life story and how i traveled and everything when i am childhood i used to have a very big dreams like i have to uh, become a pilot or something else i should become a scientist everyone has to recognize me like that the dreams used to be and i have uh, studied in dr bisant english medium high school it is a very best school in vijayanagara and it has given me all the skills of speaking in front of everyone giving good presentation presentations and even i'm an uh, academic topper too even i can say that after my schooling again the clash came here like uh, whether to take mpc or by pc i got same marks in mathematics as well as science so the decision i have left to my parents my parents thought that uh, though at those times the engineers were many anyway as sirisha can do anything my father is so confident at me as sirisha can study anything let us make her a doctor in our entire family uh, there is no doctor so uh, they want to me become a doctor even you know my mail id used to be doctor siri 2008 because at that time i used to dream about the doctor and all uh, then i have chosen the bpc after completion of my intermediate people suggested me to go out and to take long term coaching uh, so that you can crack because i am a brahmin and my i am completely an ortho from an orthodox family so being a brahmin oc it is so it is very tough difficult to crack the mbbs uh, means 
uh, not so tough i can say but it is little tougher when compared to the other uh, cast i can say so that's the reason i have went to vijaywada there i took one year long term but during that long term you know i used to prepare like anything because that is the last chance that i have to crack that mbbs seat so i think hardly i used to sleep only 3 to 4 hours but because of that uh, sleeping of very less time uh, i was like some chemical imbalance had happened in my hormones and everything in my brain and it used to be something like two subconscious minds continuously used to work in my mind some one is real one another one is a fake one and i was like unable to distinguish what is a real one and what is the fake one so i was in that situation when my friends recognized it that i am suffering with something and i am not in a normal position they have complained to my sir and then my sir have called my parents then my parents have uh, took me to some psychiatrist and they he told that nothing happened to her because of lack of sleep and why i am telling all this is most of you people who want to crack some competitive exams or something you definitely reduces your sleep time right that you don't do at all because of that i suffered a lot and then what happened the psychiatrist have suggested me all the sleeping pills so daily i used to sleep for about 18 to 20 hours in order to get normal so by the time the exam came i don't know anything i didn't prepare at all and i lost my mbbs seat then again the challenge came that okay now i'm not going to become a doctor so what career i have to choose so it is like uh, again what career it means there is no other options uh, options were like i don't know which actually i don't know what other fields used to be people have told me be pharmacy will be there dental doctor if you can become or as agricultural uh, scientist or something like this some other options they have given me i don't know anything but just randomly i have chosen okay let us become at least a pharmacist may not be a doctor pharmacist is someone who always suggests and prescribes to the doctor right so i i have to be pharmacy and in visakhapatnam there is a college called ragu college of pharmacy there i did my b pharmacy but when i am doing my b pharmacy i am not at all satisfied with that subjects or course even though again i can say one thing i am the topper of the college one of the toppers of the college i give my best whatever i do whether it is academics or sports or activities or anything but uh, i am not getting that satisfaction because from the schooling days i used to have some dreams which can't be fulfilled through these b pharmacy so then i was like running uh, uh, means like roaming around all the careers like what careers can satisfy me actually what i want to become what is my need and everything then uh, my seniors i think one of my senior he is mr rajendra he suggested me uh, you are very good at your presentation or speaking skills or something and you have very good leadership qualities also better uh, you prepare for cat examination and get an mba seat in some top iims then your entire career will change and whatever dreams that you had in your uh, from childhood those all will be fulfilled and you will definitely have a very good amount of satisfaction at your work at your uh, career and everything he told me but cracking a cat means one should be a very good specialist in mathematics but basically i am a science background student by pc student so but still i am not at all uh, even given a one day thinking like uh, whether i can do or not can i prepare the mathematics from now from the scratch or not no i didn't give a second thought at all but i decided okay i i'm always seeing my destination only i should be there what is the path so what i have someone have shown me the path i just simply started traveling through it because i'm very much confident on myself that okay if i start learning maybe for the mathematical background students it takes 9 months to crack the cat maybe it takes one and a half year for me to crack the cat but i will i have to like that i used to be so i have joined in times coaching and i used to prepare for the cat examinations from my third year of the b pharmacy but i'm glad parallelly i'm doing my academics at the same time i used to prepare for the cat and i, I used to learn from the basic scratch of the mathematics and aptitude reasoning at the same time the english that is required for the cracking the cat and it's not so easy again for the oc to crack the cat actually and that to buffer a science student really it's not so easy but uh, again during my traveling through times i have met a one wonderful person his name is alice george alice george is also a science background tamilian he is bsc chemistry student he told me that he has written the crack exam for five times and in his fifth time he cracked it i was like shocked 
because if we won't get the cat in first attempt we'll try for second we'll try for third but he is the one who cracked in fifth time means he's never give up that quote i was like okay i should also can do and he is also chemistry background student he cracked in fifth time let me crack in even a 10th time not an issue but i have to do it i have to achieve it that is my motto all the time and I, always i used to be like never give up never give up that is the uh, famous and the most loving word that i can say i won't give up anything but um, again when i'm preparing my cat third year after completion of my third year i have given the exam of course i didn't crack the cat again uh, in the final year again i have prepared but the preparation time that i have given is very low time i can say only because final year so i have to uh, come across the projects and i have to clear the semester exam so lot many works were there at the final year so much time i couldn't give but i thought okay after completion of the b farm let us take ample amount of time and prepare and then crack the cat but during that time again i um, i lost my dad who is the backbone of my entire career or entire my life i can say he is the one who used to tell me all the time sirisha if you can't do this no one can do that much capable you are like that he used to tell me that single word from his mouth used to give the boost like anything i can say he used to always whenever i feel depressed whenever i feel little low whenever i'm unable to achieve something the only word that he utters from his mouth is sirisha if you can't do no one can do it if you can do then okay maybe there is an option for others also to reach that so you are such a capable lady and you should never give up maybe in your first attempt you can't maybe in your second attempt you can't but there is nothing that you can't do it like that he used to tell me such a wonderful person i lost him because of some heart issue and that uh, i have made um, miss i took him for the heart surgery again for that surgery and all and for uh, remaining debts it was like about 15 lakhs of debts used to be there over my head where i don't have job in my hand and i have a sister her name is pavani and she is 5 years younger to me then i have really as i have relieved from my graduation she entered into her graduation career so she is also not having job my uh, mom is a homemaker so she is also not having job but 15 lakhs of debts and its interest were there over my head and my father is not there which is a very big depression i can say at that time but still again i remembered and recall my father's words and i was like okay i should never give up i am a strong lady i have to come across all these situations like that i thought and we used to have we had one own house and car and something i sold out all those and i cleared all the debts and for time being to survive my family as i am not at all having a time to prepare for the cat and crack that that mindset is not there at that time so i have joined in a local school in vijayanagaram which is an english medium school uh, and i used to get a salary of around 10000 per month just to survive my sister and my mother and myself so only we three used to survive uh, from that amount and then i started even selling sarees some uh, dupattas and all for all the teachers who are working in my school i can say so like that i my career used to go and meanwhile um, i got married within the same year with uh, dr sriram paila he is an as i said he is a principal of uh, one college so he wanted to marry me and we both got married then he suggested me anyways now it's not time for studying the mba or something like that so better you as you have already some or the other preparation of cat go for the bank exams like that he told me so i used to write the bank exams and all but even i don't like that because that was not the chosen path you know when it was not at all interested from my side if someone is telling me you do that you do this it's not um, even though if i get a bank job i don't want to go for it but still i'm doing just preparing as he told okay why to say no to him like that it is a new home new place for me in visakhapatnam i have to get adjusted to everyone as my dad is not there whatever they say i have to say yes agree okay like that it used to be but what i can say is that um after completion of some couple of years two to three years uh, i have got a baby uh, he is mr ahil kartikeyan before that also one small mystery happened actually i don't know whether to share this or not but why i'm sharing all this is just people now you are seeing some people who are in a success rate right like yeah they are the founder and ceo of some firms and all but to reach that every person is crossing all the hurdles and all the hazards that you have to understand for that sake i'm saying uh, i think within one year or two years i have lost uh, first my my first baby 
during the time of delivery hope you all can understand how much pain it was because during the time of delivery for every mother it will be something like they will be eagerly waiting because after completion of 9 months you are about to see your kid you are about to see your baby so i it just a couple of minutes has to be there to see my baby but at that time my baby's heart uh, got stopped so it was again a great pain for me again i said myself now what give up sirisha i went to nandyala for bank coaching exam seriously at that time um then for couple of months i have prepared for the bank exams and all and i'm again back to my visakhapatnam uh, being a nose i used to get like uh, the prelims i used to be qualified in the mains examination if the cutoff mark is 70 i used to get 69.25 69.50 just within a mark of 0.5 0.25 i used to miss the seat again i i used to prepare for the examinations and by god's grace again uh, i got second baby meanwhile that is uh, ahil kartikeyan my loveliest kid i can say and uh, when an, when i am got blessed with ahil kartikeyan but still i was not stopped because that was not the thing to what i am looking for right so uh, immediately after giving birth to ahil kartikeyan i have joined in a mba college i decided not that okay maybe now i am not in a situation where i can Uh, give time for my baby, and again I can prepare for CAT. Again, cracking the CAT and doing an MBA and IIMs, it is all like uh, not possible things at that situation. So I decided, okay, whatever be the college, let me take that college as only IIM. Let me prepare for the MBA in a very best manner. What I can do. So whatever college I join, that is my IIM college. Whatever I am going to prepare, that is my MBA. So immediately after giving birth to my baby. uh in the third month only i have joined in a mba college which is very near to my home so that i used to frequently come to home and feed my baby and again i used to go to the classes and again there in the mba also i am the academic topper um, in the mba and i took specialization in hr and marketing and i am not at all interested in hr job as dual specialization is available i took hr but the marketing is the um, what i can say is a fantastic course i can say because every day every minute you have challenges in that and you will meet a lot many new people and the trend the market used to be changed frequently because of some external circumstances and it is the time where you have to use yourself means use your brain and you have to struggle and you have to come out so i love those type of things i want to be always challenged and i have to win those challenges so that is the nature of mine i can say so after after completing my marketing marketing course means mba uh, hr and marketing i got opportunities in chennai bangalore like that but my baby is so small it is 2 years kid and my family is something like it's an orthodox family they don't shift anywhere and at the same time i can't leave them and i can't leave my kid and i go so again circumstances are like pulling my legs back okay i got very good packages and very good opportunities in very big companies but still it was a position like where i can't go then again like i have joined in a visakhapatnam based company as a marketer for some digital marketing company i used to roam in the market i used to learn many things in the market at that time when i am presenting myself regarding the digital marketing to a real estate person he was impressed with my marketing performance and he told that Uh, how much money you will get if you market this digital marketing product he asked me i said i'll get 3000 or 4000 sir if you buy me buy this digital marketing product from me like online advertisement or website or something i might be given an incentive of 3000 or 4000 then he told me that then why are you wasting your skills in this field when you are capable of doing marketing you can market anything right so come into the real estate field uh sell the sell flats apartments or villas or open plots or anything the incentives he had provided are will be in lakhs so that whatever career that you have assumed that you can achieve and within short span of time you can have a wonderful career and uh, the very easy job even we can say like that he motivated me but i was little afraid because real estate i don't know and the most important thing visakhapatnam i don't know for any real estate marketer the road knowledge is the most important thing and previous the prices and square yards square feet some measurements lot many things are there in real estate it's not so easy uh, when i don't know anything how to shift 
from a digital marketing marketer to a real estate marketer is that a right thing or not so a lot many questions are rolling in my mind but again there is a small uh, path i can say it's a small path where the light is coming and it is showing me like your bright career or your destination what you used to dream in your childhood maybe you can reach that in a very short span of time if you go through real estate that was there in my heart when he told me all these things i was thinking okay maybe i can reach this maybe i can do this like that but again a small afraid is there as i don't know anything am i doing wrong and taking the step for this uh, like that some sort of hassle uh, i can say chaos are there in my mind uh, after clearing all the chaos i told him okay sir i'll come to you i'll join in your company under you you just train me because i don't know anything in real estate i'm fair and frank but within an year if i don't sell anything if i am unable to sell that will deteriorates two things one is whatever amount or whatever salary that you want to pay me that will be like wasted for you but the second thing is i lose my self confidence are what i am unable to perform anything so am i not that much per- a perfect marketer or what like that some negative thinking may start in my mind i don't want these two things so now you tell me whether to join in real estate or not so this is my question to that boss then he told me that i am i don't know how much confident you are i am confident on you i can make use your skills and i can sell lot many things so the salary that i offer you throughout the annum i can get in two to three uh, plots or flats that i sell so that's not at all an issue for me so you come and join just travel with me for one year then you decide like that he told me i thought okay anyways lot many years got wasted because of some or the other reason i lost my dad at that time i lost uh, some years and i lost my baby so i have spent many years in uh, preparing lot many waste things i can say i didn't crack the uh, mbbs i didn't crack the cat so people who are seeing me it was like sirisha is a talented girl but her life career when they are focusing at it sirisha is unable to do anything like that it it is uh, resembling i can say she didn't crack mbbs she didn't crack the cat she didn't crack the bank bank exams but people don't know what are the challenges that i am facing right so anyways i was like very much confident on myself i never give up because maybe that's not the path that i have to go through i realized it that but the experience that i gained when i am preparing my mbbs the experience that i gained when i am uh, preparing for my mba iims exam cat the experience that i gained when i am preparing for bank exam is not wasted all those experience are together only not the sirisha sirisha have learned lot many things may not be cracking the exam but the things those are now helping me a lot in standing in front of everyone and as of now i'm projecting my life story to you all it is all because of all those experience only i can say and now after traveling a one year along with that sir i started my own real estate company that is ask properties now i have tied up with many builders and lot many builders want sirisha to come and sell their projects and they are offering me the, the very best price and they are telling me sirisha you have to sell this entire project we are going to give you you are the one who have to take care of the entire project like that now they are telling now i am in that position i'm so proud and feeling so happy i can say to be that and but one thing to do all these things i have a partner with me he is mr avinash palo because of the support of the avinash palo only i am able to do all these things for every woman to get achievement or to get success one person one male person has to be there all the time to push her to support her because real estate means we have to go to visits for longer places we have to travel with the customers for longer places and there are many times we used to spend time uh, even during the night time 9 o'clock 10 o'clock in order to close the deal and everything a single woman can't do all these things so avinash palo used to support me all the time he used to be stand beside me in every deal and he used to help me in closing the deals and today i am here in front of you all the whatever support that i got from my dad the same support now i'm getting from avinash because he used to tell me all the time sirisha you can do it you will do it like that and ask properties now we both were uh, the partners of in this uh, ask properties company and now i'm a founder and uh, ma- managing partner of ask properties along with avinash palo and we both are running it and we are expecting many more years for this ask properties and ask properties want to help hundreds of real estate marketers hundreds of real estate marketers has to have their food everything from the ask properties uh, that is my main goal and the vision of the company is something like 
it should be a you know very corporate marketing company where if someone some builder is suffering to sell his project then the one and only one stop solution for them is reach as properties so like that my company has to become that is i want to see myself after 5 years in that position and i'm working hard for that uh, doing lots of background work so this is all about my professional journey thank you in career for everyone the education is most important at the same time experiences will make you to become perfect education will support you whatever thing that you are doing you will do in a streamlined manner you will do in a perfect manner because you are educated there is lots of difference i can say one thing in real estate people who are even not qualified the 10 standard they are also doing real estate they are also earning crores of rupees people used to you know in the beginning days when i used to tell my uh, classmates who have studied along with me during my school days or during my uh, college days they know that i am a topper right so when they are asking me okay sirisha now what you are doing i used to tell yeah i am i am in real estate they are telling that what you are doing real estate you are such a very good topper of the college and why you are in a real estate so their mindset is something like if someone got educated if someone is the topper of a college they should definitely get a very good package in a very good company and they should work like a slave and they have to earn lots of lots of money only from the company whatever the company will assign you that you have to do so the daily routine work so that is their scenario but according to me my education is helping me to grow and to uh, go in step by step in onto a ladder in my career ladder my education is supporting me all the time in doing the things in a best way for example for a person who didn't qualify even at any is a selling as i said he is also selling some open plots besides him i am also standing and i am also selling the open plots who who i am an you as i already told you i am an mba graduate in hr and marketing so both the persons were standing on the same platform and selling the same product but one thing i i, I can tell you there will be a lot of difference in dealing with the clients and to whom i am dealing will be definitely matters because sometimes i used to talk over phone to the us clients i used to present my product in such a way that even though they can't reach to india they are paying me and they are investing their amounts in india only with the help of my presentation about my product that won't be possible with the person who is selling who is not at all a 10th class past candidate i can say they can do there are lot many types of selling you know there are lot many types of marketing people will tell you there is a plot over there very best price buy it no i don't say i never used the word please buy it or please invest it i never used i will just all the time used to tell them this is my product the person who is going to buy this product is going to get benefits of these things if you want to have these all these benefits you can have it otherwise it is all up to you so never ever i have asked a person to buy something or to invest something in a place whenever any person approaches me like uh, uh, sirisha uh, can you tell me any investment plans or like that before telling me the products immediately i used to ask them actually how much budget you have what is your investment thought what you want to get you want short term money or you want you want long term investment so i analyze their entire concept then i suggest what are the things that are there in front of me which can help them in the same way so the approach that i give a presentation about the product that i give is completely entirely different from the persons who are uneducated so it's not that in which field you are it is all that uh, you should be educated education is most important because that is only making all the things very easy for me i can say maybe if i'm not got educated in a very best college or very best school i may not be doing all these things in the, in this much easily and this confidence is also because of my very strong foundation i can say but along with that the experience is also important because each and every good experience what it will do it will help you in getting little more confidence the bad experience it will help you in uh, warning you that okay you should never do like this again so that again you will get into a problem either you will get knowledge or you will get some confidence both the things will be there from experience so what i suggest is everyone whatever be your dreams but be the best in your academics get well educated and use all your education skills what that you have trained and uh, go for the experiences and your experiences will make you and help you to travel in a better way and to to reach your destination and the most even you can see my tattoo uh, it is like still i rise 
lot many times god have put me in some down situations lot many times people surrounded me used to keep me in down situations lot many times i myself used to go on a depression stage but every time i myself used to tell still i rise whatever be the situation if hundreds of hell situations come to me but still i rise that's it so that is the same tattoo i have even given on my hand because i love that still i rise mean i still i rise that's it i suggest you all if you are having for example there are two different types of lifestyles so the lifestyle that i have chosen is something different and there is also another lifestyle that generally people use to choose so to, what are those two lifestyles are one lifestyle is just waking up early in the morning doing gym going to office by sharp 9 am and working up to 6 or 7 or 8 if in a, if it is a private corporate center even it is 11 or 12 or something like that work like an ass and um, get your salaries on time into your accounts and i enjoy the weekends just enjoying on saturday and sunday that's it there you might have some recognition only within the boundary of your company you will get uh, some awards or rewards only within the boundary of your company if you move from that company to another company maybe that another company only will come to know about you and they'll see your records and accordingly they'll hike something they'll give some 20% 30% or maybe 100% hike based on your performance but the life will be something like a routine life every day the same job same things and every saturday and sunday same weekends and entertainment but i don't like such kind of lifestyle i want challenges and i want more people to recognize me i want to get more branded so it is not just within the company i should know so each and every person of vishakhapatnam should know what is serisha who is serisha um, why we should go with ask properties only why not the other real estate companies so such kind of uh, many goals were there for me so people who are having goals like me means dreaming big i am basically from a very middle class family i am not at all uh, born and brought up in a gold spoon or something like that a very middle class family my father name is shrinivas rao he is a priest my mother name is kasturi she is a homemaker priest means he used to do pujas and everything in all the temples so i am a brahmin family as i said i am from i am a brahmin so uh, very middle class family but my dreams and my goals are used to be very big people who want to come uh, who are having goals like me like you want some crores of rupees these not these are not at all possible with jobs guys i'm saying by doing job maybe you'll get lump sum of amount at the end of your 60 years of age or 70 years of age the, at this age now you have to get more money now you have to enjoy yourself now you have to fulfill all the needs when you are in age when you are at the time of 60 if you have crores in your bank also you can't eat anything you can't do anything you can't even trek you can't even swim you can't do anything right so no use of earning those much of that much of money at the time of 60 real estate is a platform where you can earn in a month 10 to 15 lakhs or even 50 to 60 lakhs depending upon your performance all the thing you need is some sort of training for example you want to do real estate in bangalore you should know the places where are they, uh, what are there in bangalore and how to go to those locations what are the prime points surrounding it what are the developments that are about to come if a customer invests in that how he is going to get benefited in couple of years so some sort of training and knowledge about the projects you have to be you should have at the same time you should have good presentation skills good marketing skills and never ever in marketing get your head down in front of the customers even during the negotiation time also i never get down i used to tell that this is the final price this is my product so the price fixing i will do so this is my final price if you want this product if you want to avail the benefits of all this product you have to pay this price i never says that okay sir let it go uh, uh, let i'll decrease some 200 or 300 no way because that is lowering the standards of my product right Will, can we get 10 uh, apple phones for 10000 if we get apple phones for 10000 we can also give our product also for that price so wherever be choose marketing field every day you'll get challenges you you you'll meet lot many people uh, every day new customers new people new marketers so different different mindset people you'll come across and you'll handle and you know one day you'll become like me you know when some uh, Uh, generally being a lady when i sit along with some other ladies people used to tell me their problems that are there in their household but i never ever used to tell all those only because i got habituated in handling all set of uh, mindset so no mindset can influence me 
if my in laws say something at me or if my husband shouts at me if my kids say something to me nothing matters for me because i know how to handle so like that you'll become in marketing field only you'll become confident enough you'll become strong enough people who are doing mba choose the option marketing and after uh, completion of your marketing if you want a job lifestyle go for the companies if you want to something uh, more money in a less span of time come to real estate come to ask properties reach me i'll train you i'll help you in earning crores of rupees in very short span of time this is my assurance i can say and uh, but um, what i can say is you just implement or improve your speaking skills talking skills and your confidence levels only these are the small simple steps i can say that you are required in order to opt real estate real estate is really a wonderful platform wherever you go you can sell anything you can do anything earn lakhs of lakhs of rupees if you want 4 lakhs as of now just um, picking up one customer and selling it off the the, the immediate day you will get the 4 lakhs into your account which is not at all possible with the jobs such a wonderful platform is real estate i can say i'm enjoying it now now das properties is dealing in a wonderful manner only because generally what happens in other real estate companies how i am different what is the success mantra of my ask properties is that so simple generally other real estate companies to whom ever to whom ever marketer uh, you approach what they sell is immediately without knowing your interest without knowing your capability of investment they'll tell only one thing we have a wonderful project in bogapuram we have a wonderful project in vishakhapatnam the square yard is only just 15000 sir invest it it is very near to highway it is that it is this just means like uh, uh, without knowing anything about the client simply they'll portray the product and in a way that they want you to buy so what it will create it will create a small some more the negative impression in the minds of the customer okay this fellow want me to uh, forcibly want me to do something that shouldn't be there it is something like ask properties is a marketing consultancy it is like it will help you in guiding in making your investment as the best so if a customer comes to the ask properties ask properties won't uh, portray all the projects that it have it will simply completely enquire about the customer completely understands the investment thought of the customer what he want how much he has what he can do how we can help him in doing that for example a person is having only 5 lakhs then how can i help him in making that 5 lakhs as the best investment where he should invest that 5 lakhs in order to get 20 lakhs within 3 years so that i'll suggest if a person is having 50 lakhs i won't suggest that 5 lakhs project so i will suggest him the project where he should invest the 50 lakhs so that it will become 1.5 cr within couple of 3 years or 5 years so depending upon the customer's requirement customers whether it is residential purpose or investment purpose or long term investment or short term investment based on that ask properties will help the customers in guiding in suggesting it won't force any customer to buy that to buy this it will give all the products that uh, ask properties are having which are related to their requirements then people uh, will stop thinking whether to buy or not people will shift from that era to what to buy this or that so that is going to make my sale very easy i can say generally people when they approach first thing what they think is whether to buy this or not second what to buy but when they approach me by this or not will be removed by my skill by our ask properties uh, approaching team i can say approaching way approaching strategy will remove by or not will just the customer after approaching us he'll be in a second stage that is what to buy this one or that one again in that also will be uh, telling us entire swot analysis like what are the uh, best things with it what are the negative things with it positive and negative and what are the positive things with the other product and what are the negative things with the other product so whichever they are comfortable with they'll go with that so they stop thinking whether to buy or not and they start thinking what to buy so this is making my company sales very easy so i can suggest this as a success mantra for as properties and i wish even all the real estate companies also to turn up in this way it's not just like if they are having venture in arku okay buy in arku buy in arku buy in arku no one will buy no one will buy only the persons who are completely illiterate or completely unknowing anything maybe out of 100 customers one customer will buy but coming to ask properties if 10 customers approach us ask properties eight deals will be done that is the success mantra the approaching strategy of ask properties is entirely different from other real estate companies 
Thank you. I don't believe in born leadership. Why? Because when we are born, we are completely zero. We don't have anything. Uh, any, we don't know any language. We don't know any skill. We don't know how to walk, how to talk, how to do anything. Everything after we born only we start learning, right? So leadership is also a one quality that we have to um, uh, adopt. We have to learn in order to become a leader. There are some sort of qualities that one has to maintain. So all these qualities we have to implement daily basis, and we have to practice all those things in order to become a leader. That only I believe. I am not at all a born leader, and I don't believe that uh, all the leaders now to whomever we are aspiring, they are not at all born leaders. No one is anything when they are born. They are everyone is zero when they are born. Everyone has become into a doctor or actor or leader or anything. only by the time they are traveling maybe for some people their experiences automatically make them to become leader maybe for some people like me experiences as well as my strong determination to become a leader made me a leader coming to my childhood days uh, there are not many memories i can say uh, in my childhood uh, i have joined in this as i said dr besan english medium high school by my parents so they have joined me in that that is a very big school and it is having a very big playground um and i lost one day what happened is that when i'm playing in the playground i my father bought me a very beautiful costly cool kit cool kit what means cool water bottle a very big cool kit so i used to take fridge water uh, very uh, cooled water chilled water to the school every time so the very first day only i have lost the cap of that bottle so after going home i told my dad um uh, i lost the cap of the water bottle it is a very costly water bottle actually being a normal middle class family buying that is very difficult but still i lost it but at that time also my dad didn't scold me and he told me that ah, that's okay not an issue tomorrow one thing you do even what will do without a cap uh, just you lost this bottle also the very next day actually it's not uh, uh, happen intentionally unfortunately i lost the water bottle too i have uh, went to somewhere for playing and i kept somewhere and again when i after back to my home uh, i forgot to take the water bottle my dad asked where is the bottle i said oh i i lost somewhere i forgot somewhere again the very next day i went to the school and searched for my bottle but it was not there because it is a school with 3000 students so not a small school a very big school like this there are many things my dad used to tell me that okay you are very good whatever i am saying you are following that lost the bottle you have lost it now i am saying get first rank in the classroom then the very next academics i studied like anything and i got the first rank even in my school so my father felt very proud of me and he said very good and like so whatever he is saying i am doing that so that made him to get confidence on me so all the parents generally uh, when we do something then only they used to get confidence right so that confidence i have given to my father uh, and i am so happy for that and there are very um, uh, uh, sweet memories even i can share with you which are very naughty naughty memories i can say uh, during my 6 years old when i am 6 years old i think approximately at that time uh, there is some uh, village festival will be there during night times also lot many dances these that used to happen my mother was uh, a little sleepy and she is like every day she sleeps by 8 pm sharp like that her timings were like that morning she wakes up by 4 am night she sleeps by 8 pm but on that day festival time also she did the same then i went to by nearby uh, neighbors along with them i traveled all over the village and everything during that night without intimating my mom then suddenly my father after completion of some marriage he is a priest as i said after completion of some marriage in the city he came to the village and he asked my mom very sirisha then my mother started searching for me i was not there and my neighbors were not there no one there and at that time there are no telephones nothing and i am very small kid of 6 years age that to a girl and that is a village where people drunk a lot during these festival times so they are very much worried about me and they roamed the entire village and they just uh, waked up entire village people who are sleeping also please search for sirisha please search for sirisha like that and i was like sitting in a small hut at one some corner small hut uh, at one corner and i'm sitting over there and i'm sleeping sitting and sleeping over there and someone is shouting my name in the mic i'm just uh, getting something into my brain like 
Siri, Siri, where are you? Siri, where are you? Like that, I'm getting some sounds into my. Then I slowly open my eyes and I have seen it is the voice of my dad. So I'm very much uh, uh, dad loving girl, I can say. So after listening to my dad's voice and he's on stage, I thought, hey, my dad came on the stage. He's performing something, and I came out of the hut. I called him, Dad, hi, like that. Dad, like that. Then he saw me and he took me to the home. And my mother bet me like anything on that day. That is the memories I have. Thank you. If I kept in a time machine, uh, 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 like up to what stage I'll go and how I'll change my career, and like if I I want to become doctor or uh, MBA something cat I am or like that, if you ask me, I can say that um, first after completion of my tenth, the very wrong step I took is listening to my parents and I took BPC. No, no. So first I'll change that. I'll take MBC. I'll do my graduation. So obviously, when I'm doing my graduation in some engineering college, simultaneously I can prepare for my ICAT exam, and I might have cracked it in the very beginning year before my dad got expired. So definitely, I would have been in an IIM. Some or the other way, I I would have completed it. Maybe I might be a very good uh, uh, ask properties in order to become a brand or in order to become a very big uh, reputed company. It takes a time of five to ten years, but if I have done a journey through iims i might be a very big managing director or marketing director of already reputed and branded company and used to have lot many experiences in the international market even right now i'm having the experiences of only local market so i want to explore myself to the international market too and i want to take the challenges globally so all those things might have happened a little earlier now also i'm going to take all those things but it takes time of 5 to 10 years but if i am kept in a time machine definitely i won't choose bpc at all and i won't opt for that doctor mbbs or something that is not at all uh, suits me actually uh, that's it so along with my this marketing career i do lot many things which entertain me like anything actually you know uh, till now i have spoken only about marketing real estate career destination no it's not apart from that i have lot many things uh, which i want to have that is the most loveliest word that i want is enjoyment i love entertainment i love enjoyment so i used to go for long drives generally we used to choose the projects which are very far from the city so that whenever we used to have a customer we used to travel through car by playing the songs which we love and which are very latest and like that we enjoy that entire travel and we used to show the customer about the project and along with that i have a, another passion is to become a anchor uh, when i am doing my intermediate i used to be an anchor in some local channels also uh, news reader local channels anchoring and conducting some shows and in during my school days and colleges also i used to host the all the events and everything so now also i am doing that thing along with my job generally people used to tell me sirisha now you are the founder and md of one firm and still if you host some other companies events and everything people will remember that only people will say hey she is an anchor of, of that event then that may uh, decrease your reputation like that people used to tell me but uh, living a part of all this that is my passion to host an event to grab all the attention of entire audience my might be it is 50 members or 500 or 5000 every eye should be on me and i should entertain them so i love it actually to make everyone joy and happy i used to dance even even though i don't know dancing i am not at all a perfect dancer but i dance like anything and i chill out all the time generally for job holders it is weekends but for real estate people it is every day it is all like making use of smart way of working i i can say only during the time of sale will be having a little all the other work but and remaining entire time i spend for enjoyment and i read books and i used to give some educational slots and trainings and i am the member of bni i can say i am the proud member of bni and wherever i join bni means it's a business network international hope you all know that so all the business people used to be uh, there in that platform to make networking and everything make use of that platform in order to grow our businesses actually in that also uh, after i joining the bni what should i do in order to become famous so immediately after i joined the covid came and uh, they have conducted some online dance competition 
anyway it is a dance competition let us perform so bni dinchak they have conducted even you can see those videos my dance videos in youtube channel bni dinchak invincibles if you type my dance will come definitely you will enjoy like anything because we were not at all dancers but still we perform that will give you a lot of fun for you and uh, uh, in that dinchak from we have that dance that funny dance made us like bni is a group of 1000 business people 1000 members who are there in that club but all the 1000 members now recognize the sirisha from the, from that dance after completion of that again i thought okay something we have to do to the bni platform for our chapter and i should recognize get recognition from higher authorities of bni then i started giving very good inductions to the bni very good i have introduced many people to the bni and i have created a very great change very big impact on my chapter growth and everything and that made me uh, that brought me a very good recognition within a short span of 6 months of time means i have joined if within a short span of 6 months of time each and every member of the bni is recognizing now sirisha uh, and they are feeling that sirisha is the core member of bni that is really a proud moment for me so there are lot many things i enjoy each and everything that is the reason i do best and people never ever leave enjoyment or entertainment that is the most important thing that everyone should have to fulfill those things only we are earning this much of money so now i want to sing with this voice actually i don't know that much of uh, uh, what i can say uh, tune or something but uh, please forgive me if i am having any mistakes in this song but i want to dedicate this song to all my um, people who wish me to be happy for all of them i'm going to dedicate this song the song that i used to listen many times uh, this is a song from jeans movie and i'm singing in telugu because my mother tongue is telugu phool daguna pallento adisayam aasita ko kachiluka onlento adisayam venulo gali sangeetale adisayam guru evvaru leni koila paate adisayam अतिशय अतिशय फ्लवर्स गिविंग दूट रईट सो इट इज लाइक इफ वी अमेज इफ वी इमेजिन दट फ्रूट आर कमिंग फ्रम फ्लवर्स इन सैड ऑफ द फ्लवर्स फ्रम देर इट इज कमिंग एंड द बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर और द कलर्स दट आर देर ऑन द बटरफ्लाई सो ऑल द नेचर रिलेटेड टू द नेचर फॉर एक्सापल uh the clouds are forming from the oceans only right oceans are getting vaporized but as the ocean is having the salted water but if you see the clouds which are formed from that water it is not having salt so it is really a uh, surprising and amazing thing right the salted water when it is turning we are getting a pure water from it that's what uh, the meaning of that and uh, without any teacher the cuckoo is singing songs so who is training the cuckoo to sing in a such a sweet voice so there are lot many amazing things which we can't accept actually like which we can't do it right so that is why i love this song a lot without any bulb without any battery uh, that a small insect will be there no it uh, during night times it give light light insects will be there 
there is no battery there is no recharge there is no power but still it is giving light during the night time really amazing things the entire song is describing the amazing things of this world amazing things of this nature so you are also an amazing creature of the god you can rock anything that's what the meaning of the song so people just rock it believe in you you can do amazing you can do so the most inspiring as i have told you most inspiring persons in my life is one is my father and another one is right now with whom i'm working mr ravinash palo so these two people used to be all the time at the back of me but when i love one quote i i always ask everyone also to keep this quote in their mind that is don't burn your opportunities for a temporary comfort means if you are getting some temporary comfort like yeah get the job uh, get 20000 into the account so like you are happy you are satisfied with that things so for those temporary comforts don't lose the opportunities when you are capable enough to crack lot many things when you are capable enough to do lot many things for your temporary comforts don't lose the never ever lose the opportunities uh, there is one famous image also uh, if you google this quote you will definitely get that image uh, there will be a person who is there in a deep cave and there is one ladder and it was a like very uh, midnight we can say it is like very shivering midnight in a forest that cave is there so when a ladder is available to come out of that cave what you have to do you have to take the help of the ladder to come out of it but for the temporary comfort for uh, completing that night so if you break down the sticks from the ladder and if you start burning it and if you get a heat in order to make yourself heat and to complete that night okay let this night be over so tomorrow morning we'll see if you are in that mindset can you come out of that cave no so don't these opportunities are also like the sticks of the ladder only if you burn those opportunities you never ever come out of that cave so for temporary things never burn your uh, opportunities so short term comforts for today for this minute you are happy no don't burn your opportunities for those things if you have uh, if you got an opportunity to meet one good person at the same time your friends are calling for a movie leave the movie go to that person maybe that is going to be the turning point or maybe that meeting is going to change your life don't know from where the opportunity comes it's not that from here from this door only the opportunity comes whenever you get any door any opportunity don't leave that for short term comforts and short term happiness so this is the best motivational quote which i used to tell because i am a girl of fun and entertainment and enjoyment so my preference is all the time will be towards enjoyment and entertainment only at that time i used to study this no 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 for this short term entertainment i should never lose the opportunity i have to go with the opportunities only because that is going to give me long term entertainments it's not the entertainment shouldn't be restricted to one day or one night it should be throughout the life so that's why don't burn your opportunities for temporary comforts thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to stay, share about my life story in this and if you really got inspired from my life story and if you have some takeaways from my story then please do like share and subscribe uh, the work mob because work mob is the platform that is providing me to share my life story please subscribe work mob thank you दोस्तों आप सुन रहे थे आस्क प्रॉपर्टीज की फाउंडर सिरी शादी की कहानी इनकी अपनी जुबानी ऐसे ही प्रेरित कहानियाँ रोजाना सुनने के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन जरूर दबाएं और दोस्तों अगर आज की ये कहानी आपको पसंद आई है तो जल्दी से इसे लाइक कमेंट और शेयर करें जी हाँ मौका है आपके पास भी अपनी कहानी हर शख्स तक पहुँचाने का तो आइए और जुड़िए आप भी इस मुहिम में हमारे साथ और सुनाइए अपनी कहानी देशवासियों को जी हाँ आपकी कहानी ले आएगी लोगों के जीवन में आशा की एक नई किरण तो आइए और दीजिए इस मुहिम में हमारा साथ लेट्स इंस्पायर टुगेदर इफ वी कैन इंडिया कैन आपके अनुभवों से देशवासियों को मिलेगी एक नई प्रेरणा तो जल्दी से साझा करें अपने जीवन के अनुभव अपने विचार हम सभी के साथ फिलहाल वक्त तो चला है आप सभी से इजाजत लेने का लेकिन बहुत जल्द एक बार फिर होंगे हाजिर एक नई कहानी के साथ तब तक के लिए आप बने रहिए हमारे साथ दिखते रहिए कहानियों का हमारा एक खास कार्यक्रम और लीजिए हर नई कहानी से हर दिन एक नई और सच्ची प्रेरणा नमस्कार